Hello, this is Morning Gallery. The artwork I will introduce today is the work of Henry Osawa Tanner. Henry Osawa Tanner was an American artist who lived from 1859 to 1937. He is widely considered to be one of the most significant African-American artists of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Tanner was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to a family that valued education and the arts. His father was a bishop in the African Methodist Episcopal Church, and his mother was a former slave. Tanner showed an early interest in art, and after completing high school, he enrolled in the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. In 1889, Tanner traveled to Europe to further his art education. He studied at the Académie Julian in Paris, where he was exposed to a range of artistic styles and movements. He was particularly drawn to the Barbizon School, which emphasized the importance of direct observation of nature and a naturalistic style of painting. Tanner's early works were mostly landscapes and genre scenes, but he later turned to religious subjects, which became a hallmark of his work. His deep Christian faith was an important influence on his art, and his paintings often convey a sense of spiritual depth and emotional intensity. In 1895, Tanner gained international recognition with his painting The Resurrection of Lazarus, which was exhibited at the Salon in Paris. The painting was praised for its emotional power and technical excellence, and it helped establish Tanner's reputation as a major artist. Over the course of his career, Tanner continued to produce powerful works that explored themes of faith, identity, and social justice. He was a prolific artist, creating over 100 paintings, as well as prints and drawings. Tanner's work was exhibited widely during his lifetime, including at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893 and the Paris Exposition in 1900. He received numerous awards and honors, including being named an officer of the French Legion of Honor. Today, Tanner's paintings can be found in many major museums, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Art Institute of Chicago, and the Smithsonian American Art Museum. His legacy continues to inspire and influence artists of all backgrounds and cultures. There are several good points to know when appreciating Henry Osawa Tanner's work. First, historical context. Understanding the historical context in which Tanner was creating his art is important for appreciating his work. Tanner lived during a time of significant social and political change in the United States, including the abolition of slavery, the Civil War, and the Civil Rights Movement. His art reflects these changes and provides a unique perspective on the experience of African Americans during this period. Second, symbolism. Tanner often incorporated symbolic elements into his paintings, such as light and color, to convey deeper meanings. For example, in his painting The Annunciation, he uses the contrast between the bright angelic light and the shadowy room to symbolize the divine intervention in the mundane world. Third, personal experience. Tanner's personal experiences as an African-American artist living in both the United States and Europe influenced his art. His paintings often reflect his own struggles with identity, race, and religion. Understanding these personal experiences can provide insight into the themes and motifs in his work. Fauti, Technique Tanner was known for his mastery of various painting techniques, including oil painting, watercolor, and printmaking. Appreciating his skill and technique can help to enhance one's enjoyment of his work. Finally, Artistic Influences Tanner was influenced by a variety of artists and artistic movements, including the Barbizon School, Impressionism, and Symbolism. Recognizing these influences can deepen one's understanding of his style and aesthetic choices. How about starting the day with a cup of coffee and a piece of art? Have a pleasant viewing.
Thank you.